Hi, this is Roderick from Toy Masters Video Magazine. I'm here at Corona Queens, New York City at the New York Hall of Science for the World Maker Fair 2014. I'm here at M3D with David Jones and Michael Armani. Michael Armani. They're going to tell us about their new printer, 3D printer. It's a micro printer. It's a micro 3D printer. And they're going to tell us a little bit about it and how they got started. And I believe it was a Kickstarter program that first that y'all first worked on, right? Okay, well, I'm going to let them do all the talking. So with that, Michael and David. Thank you, thank you very much. So uh, we make the micro 3D printer. It's the first consumer 3D printer because it's $349. It comes ready to use. You just plug it in, recognizes the drivers, search for models, or you can upload your own. You hit print, you choose the quality settings, and it takes care of everything else for you. Uh, people want 3D printers for pretty much everything. There's all kinds of different applications and the virtue of a 3D printer is that everybody has a different idea of what they're going to use it for. So it's consumer, it's gadgetry, it's engineering, it's the whole works. And um, tell a little bit about how we got started. Sure. Um, you know, Mike and I were working on um, automation projects and uh, we needed a 3D printer and uh, you know, there just wasn't anything for for people like us, and so we decided to make one of our own, and uh, we took it on as uh, we wanted to make it intuitive and fun, but affordable, and uh, so that's what we set out to do, and with Kickstarter's help, we succeeded at it, and uh, now we have the Micro, which is uh, just $349, uh, and for the month of September, it's actually $25 off, but um, it's uh, really exciting for the 3D printing world because there's never been an intuitive and really easy to use and affordable 3D printer until now. Now, uh, let's get to the question part. Now, you say that it's going to be you're going to use filaments. You can use anybody's filaments. Yep, standard filaments. Standard uh, 1.75 millimeter filaments. And we do ABS and PLA. ABS and PLA. They're sort of the workhorse of 3D printing today. We also designed it to enable all kinds of experimental materials, things like PET or nylons. Also work really well on the micro. Now, can you um, make it where it's interchangeable? Can you put two different filaments, different colors in it? Right, so there's a couple things you can do to achieve color. One is you can start printing the model, you'll be able to hit pause, change out the filament so you can get a different color. The other thing you can do is you can color while the filament's actually extruding. Yeah, that's um, really fun. Yeah. yeah, so and then you can also pre color the filament spool itself. So you can put it in like a dye batch. Um, there's also um, one of your tech guys that was here. You're showing there's an external part that you can use for another part of um, using for the filament part of it. So, well, so our 3D printer actually allows you two ways getting the filaments in. One is we have a half pound spool that's 250 feet of filament that fits within the printer itself, so it's portable. But we also have an external port for somebody that wants to change materials really quickly or just have extra access in expert mode. Yeah, if you want to use a really large filament roll, you can also put it on the outside and have it you know, feeding in that way. Um, but if you want to make it compact, you can put the micro roll inside and just carry it with you. And the micro rolls are $13 and they are open, so you could re-spool them if you really wanted to. You can use ours, you can use anybody's. Um, so it's an open standard. Now, do you need to use an um, external battery or you said you can plug this into a computer? Is it for also for PC and Mac? Yep. PC, Mac, and Linux. Uh, it's very portable. You could use a battery. Um, you don't really, but uh, it's definitely possible. Yeah, so um, if you, we calculated this earlier today actually. If you did a 5,000 milliamp battery, which is like a large laptop, you could probably run it for about five hours. So if you really wanted a portable 3D printer, sure you could. Um, but it comes with a power adapter and USB. Yeah, so it's, it's really um, a 3D printer designed for the home user where it's not going to take over a room. You know, it's, it fits on your desk, it looks good, and it's quiet. It's the sort of thing that consumers are really looking for. Now, what makes your printer say better than MakerBot's printer? Um, well, you know, you'd have to talk to them about that. There's, you know, a lot of good products out there, and everyone's really designed for a different kind of person. We call ours a first consumer 3D printer because it comes assembled, it comes ready to use, and we give you access to a library right there in your computer. So all you you got to do is hit print or upload your models. And it's far more affordable. Okay. Uh, cool. Now, how heavy is this? 
So um, portability was really important. Uh, it's also something that you know, should you ever drop a printer, you don't want to like have a person using this in, in an education environment and hurt themselves. It's a total of two kilograms uh, weight in the package, and the printer itself is one kilogram or about 2.2 pounds weight. Very light. And I see it comes in different colors. Yep, it comes in green, blue, black, silver, and orange. Yep, on the shirt. And uh, we'll probably have some uh, extra interesting colors coming soon. But um, purple maybe next. What? No pink? Yeah, no pink yet. <laughs> no one's asked for it. Although you can customize it. Yeah, it's kind of windy out here. The spot that they're in, it really is blowing. And where are you guys based at? Uh, we're out of Maryland, and uh, we're doing manufacturing in the state of Maryland. So it's uh, about 50%. It's being made here in the United yeah. States. Designed, assembled in the yeah. United States. Yeah, and about 50% of our parts are here in, uh, in the States, even in Maryland, I believe. 50% of our components yeah. are manufactured in the States. Our component suppliers yeah. are in the States as well. Yeah. Well, thank you, guys. I'm Roderick from Toy Masters Video Magazine here at the World's Maker Fair 2014 in Corona, Queens, New York at the New York Hall of Science. Take it easy, everybody.